Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Isa and in today's video I will teach you how you can create an animated greeting card using Procreate. We are going to be using two different methods using the Animation Assist tool which makes animating super easy. I do have a following video coming out showing you how you can edit the animation that we're going to be making today and make it longer and add sound to it as well using the app iMovie. So make sure to check that one out as well. Ready? Let's start! Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, open my app Procreate. And from here, I'm just going to create a new document. So tap on the plus sign on this top right corner. And I want a square canvas. So I'm going to click where it says square. There we go. Now, there are many ways that you could do this. If you have beautiful hand lettering, then you can use a brush and just write out whichever message you want. Or you can also use a font and make things a little bit simpler. So that's what I'm going to do. So tap on this first icon, the top bar here, you tap there. And where it says add, you tap on where it says add text. And then I'm just going to write in the message that I want for my greeting card. And that is going to be happy. And then below that, holidays. Okay. Now I'm going to select all of my text, click on this area to select a font and I'm going to choose the font Marcador is thick. I will link it below in case that you want to use the same font. And here, first I'm going to uh, grow my box just to make sure that it's centered and to see how big my text can go. And then I can use these sliders here to make the text bigger and you can use the tracking one to separate the letters a little bit until you're happy with how it looks something like that click on done and now i'm going to click on my layers and as you can see i have this font layer the one that says happy and i want to rasterize it so that i can turn this text these words into an image and i can start editing it so i'm going to click on the image of this layer and then where it says rasterize you tap there and what that does is it flattens the image it's no longer editable as text but then i will be able to add color and do some other things so i go to my arrow here just to select that whole layer and then i just drag my finger to place it whatever I wanted. I'm just gonna center it somewhere around there. It doesn't have to be exact. Deselect. Now I have this color palette that you can also download. I'm gonna link it below but you can choose any colors you want at all. So I'm gonna open it by tapping on my color selection on the very top right corner and I had it right here but if you can't find the one you're looking for you click on palette and then you'll have the ones that you want. As you can see I have this Christmas one set to default so that's why I can see it from here but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this over here so I'll do it again you click on your colors and then where there's this little gray line you just drag it outside and that brings your color palette onto your screen and that makes it really helpful when working in Procreate I'm gonna tap on my palette so I can see the one that I wanted and let me just get my pencil and now I'm just gonna start adding a different color to each letter from the colors I have here so once you select a color, for example this light green, you have to go to this little ball and drag it onto the letter that you want to color. I just choose a different color for each letter and start dragging it to color them all. You can also, to select the color, just tap and hold on that color and then that will automatically be selected. So for example, if I'm not entirely sure which one of these four reds I used, then instead of trying to guess from here, I can just tap on it and select it. Same thing with this green, I can just tap on it and then I'll choose the exact same green. And just keep going until you're done with all of the letters. Of course, you can also use the same color. It doesn't have to be different colors for each letter. This is where you get creative. Okay, awesome. So this is going to be the base of my greeting card. But as I said, this is going to be animated. So now I'm going to close my color palette. I don't need it for now. And the next thing I'm going to do is turn on the animation assist tool here in Procreate, which is super helpful and it'll make animating a breeze. You'll see. So click on this first icon here again and where it says canvas, open that. And then as you can see it says animation assist here you just turn that on and what that does is that it shows you basically your layers down here and it's really easy to switch from one layer to the following layer and you also have this tool where it allows you to see the previous layer with very little opacity so you can start animating your items 
it's gonna make more sense once we have a few more layers and I just want to show you if I open my layers menu here which is these two squares you'll see that I have my background color which in this case the background doesn't really count it's either gonna be on or off and that's it you can't really modify it so forget about the background for now we have the first layer when you open procreate there's always a first layer and then we have the layer that i added with my text so as you can see if i have animation assist active then i can see several layers at once so for example right now i'm selecting the layer that is supposed to have absolutely nothing and in fact i'm going to turn off the text layer which is no longer text but the layer where i have my words and as you can see this layer is empty but if i turn this one on and I'm still selecting the layer that is empty. I'm going to first see this empty layer and then in a lighter opacity, I can see the other layer that is not currently selected. This might be too confusing, so just follow along and it'll start making more sense in a second. Okay, so we are going to be using two types of animation in this video and they're both super simple. The first one is going to be kind of like the reverse method, I'm gonna call it, because we are going to start deleting the parts that we want to appear in the future in our animation. Okay, so now that I have my happy holiday sign, I want to keep this safe just in case that I mess up my animation, I change my mind and I need to go back to it. You know, I don't want to damage it. So I'm just gonna slide it here to the left to click on duplicate. I'm gonna drag one of these to the bottom just to keep it safe and I'm going to deactivate it because I'm not gonna be touching this layer. I'm gonna leave this empty layer here for now, it doesn't bother me, and I'm gonna start with this other layer. In fact, I'm going to duplicate it because for this method you will be having to duplicate your layer before you modify the previous layer. So now select the one that's under the top layer and I'm gonna choose my eraser and what I'm gonna start doing is getting rid of the parts that I don't want in each of my frames to start animating this. So what I want this animation to do is to start showing me the letters one by one. So obviously the first letter is gonna be H, second layer is gonna be A and so on and so on. So the first layer or the first frame of my animation has to show only an H. So I'm going to grab my eraser and start deleting all the rest of the letters. Now, I want to go to my settings in my animation tool because it's not gonna be that clear that I actually erased these letters because you can still see them and that's a really helpful feature, but I do want to bring the opacity of the onion skin, as they call it, to a 25%. So this slider that says onion skin opacity, you just bring it down to somewhere where you feel comfortable, I usually use 25% because I like to see what's behind but I don't want it to get in my way and stop me from noticing what I'm doing on the current layer, okay? So now that I brought that opacity down, you can see that what I erased is actually gone. So now I will go to my layers again, duplicate this original words layer again and select the one that's not on top. And now I want my H and my A to be here. So I just go and erase all the rest. I'm gonna go again. So you duplicate the top layer, select the one under that. And another way that I actually prefer to erase what I don't want from this layer is using your selection tool. So tap on it and make sure you have the free hand selected here. And I just like this better because you can select what you don't want from the layer. It's quite quick as you can see. And then you click on the layer and you tap on this image part and where it says clear, you tap there and that's gonna clear all of the selection. Now I like this method better because I make sure that I didn't miss anything with my eraser. You know, when you're using your eraser tool, it's possible that you don't delete the whole part or you accidentally delete a bit more of what you need, etc. And with that selection method, I think that it's just easier. In my case, at least, you can choose whichever works for you. But that's the one that I'm going to use from now on. So again, you duplicate the original layer. You select the one under it. And now the whole word happy can stay as is. I just need to get rid of holidays. Clear. And just repeat for the rest of the letters. Okay, and I'm done. And if it was still a bit confusing to understand what I'm doing here, then this is when Animation Assist really helps. 
So as I mentioned before, here each frame is the equivalent to each of the layers that you have here, but it's very easy because you can see your animation in action. So if you drag this to the left or right, you'll see that the animation starts taking life. And in fact, our first animation is finished. You can click on play and you'll see it come to life. Okay, I'm gonna pause. And now I want to show you, you do have some options in the settings menu here. And what I'm gonna do is go to frames per second and lower this to around a six or seven. Let's see how that looks. You know, so it's not super quick. So I think that's okay. So I had it at six. I'm gonna go to a seven. I think that works for me. You can play around and choose whichever you like. Okay, so just like that, that was the animation method number one, but I want to show you a little more. So I'm gonna pause this. I'm going to change the background of my animation and I really like this option because it's so easy to change. So I'm gonna go to my layers, scroll down until I can see my background layer, click on the color here. And I'm gonna choose this gray color included in the palette as well. I like how the colors pop there. I'm gonna play it, see how it looks. Awesome. I'm gonna drag this all the way to my first frame where I have a letter. So that's gonna be actually the second frame here. Now I'm going to choose a super light color. Again, you have one in this palette. So I'm gonna choose that one. And for the brush I'm gonna be using, this is the one, it's called Asterix Brush. And I'm gonna leave a link to where you can get it. But I'm also gonna link a video showing you how you can make your own brush in case that you want to just make it it takes a few minutes only so make sure to check that out and once i have that brush selected i'm gonna add a little more to this animation just to make it a bit more interesting so i will just add a few of these stamps around my words just randomly around four or five per frame so that's my first i'm gonna move on to the following frame i'm not sure how much you can see in the camera but i can actually see the previous frame and see where I added my stamps. And that is important because I was making some experiments with this animation before filming and I realized that if you change the stamp a ton in between frames, it looked just too fast for my taste. So what I'm going to do is you have your first frame and on the second frame, I want to keep the stars kind of in the same location. They will obviously not be exactly the same, especially because this brush has big and then smaller stamps, you know, just randomly, which I like a lot. And that's fine, but I just don't want to move my stars all over the place. So next I move on to my third frame and now I can change my stars of location. So this is where I had them before, but now I want them to be in different spots. Maybe I can even have a few more this time. Now move on to the next frame. And now it's getting a little crazy with all these stars. I can't tell which ones are from the previous frame and from the first frames. So what I'll do is go to my settings and then go to my onion skin frames to just one. So I can only see the single previous frame instead of all of the frames I've ever created, okay? Should have done that first, I forgot. So now I get to see all of the stars that I created in the frame immediately before this one. Move on to the following frame. This time I can change the location of my stars. Following, keep the same as the previous. Once more, change them again. And for this one, just follow the ones from before. And you keep going until you are done with all the frames. Okay, now we can take a look at how this is going. So I'm gonna slide all of this to the right and click on play. And this is our finished animation. So from here, you can just export this as video format. And since we did a square canvas, you can send this straight to Instagram, you can post it on Facebook, whatever you want. And to export, you're going to go to your first icon here where it says share. You have different options. I'm just gonna go for the video one because I find it is the easiest to just post everywhere. So click on where it says animated MP4. That's video format. And then here you have another chance to change the frames per second. So make it slower or make it faster. You can check which one works for you. I'm gonna keep it at seven, I think I had, yeah. 
and then export and save video okay so that's the end of this video that's how you can very easily create an animation in procreate perfect for this holiday season i would really love to see what your animation ended up looking like so if you want you can tag princetic shop on instagram or if you're part of our facebook group feel free to share it over there i can't wait to see it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up to let me know and if you have any questions drop me a comment i'll get back to you as quick as i can if you're not subscribed to my channel yet don't forget to do it and turn on the notification so you know when i publish more videos i always give fun and useful tips and tricks that you can use on your app